have a nice kudu, but he's starting to hide away from us. He's standing on the top of a termite mound. Come on, boy, don't do this to us now. It was so beautiful because he had his head out just where we could see him, but now he's taken a couple of steps forward. You can see he's feeding at the moment. Ah, okay. Well, let's go forward and see if we can get another view of him. <clears throat> it was beautiful as well. The light was... I'm going to go forward. The light was just catching all the dew that was on his horns. <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. <laughs> Look how he's hiding. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever had a view of a kudu like this before, with just ears and horns. It's okay, big boy. Now he's shuffling around. I think he's just trying to get a better view of us. Isn't that lovely? And this is a big kudu. You can see straight away. Look how his neck is absolutely bulging. It's filled with muscles. He's in much better condition than the other bulls that we saw earlier this morning. Much fitter. But they do. They come up to the termite mounds like this. And we see it. And you will be seeing it a lot more while you're in Kenya too. There's animals going up into trees. Obviously a kudu is not going to climb a tree. But here they utilize termite mounds so that they can see their surroundings a little bit easier with all of the long grass and all the thick trees, it does make it difficult for them too to try and spot potential predators that could be lurking about. So it's very important, these vantage points. Let me go forward again, Darby. Maybe we can look back onto him. Hello, boy, and we'll see him now. This will be good. Hello, beautiful. It's okay. Oh, wow. How gorgeous is he? This is absolutely incredible. Now, most of his attention is actually focused on us. You can see he's using both ears to listen, though his left ear is moving slightly, just listening to what was going on behind him. I promise we're not going to eat you. We're just here to look at you. I don't blame these animals for being so cautious, though. It's important that they do live on, well, the nervous side of life, because I think if you become too complacent out here, that's when accidents can happen. Off he goes. Oh, beautiful. How cool is that? <laughs> that was amazing. We're having we're just gonna show you kudus today, hey David. All the all the kudu of the Sabi sand. Now Chris, you were wondering